Good evening, Sister Lenlen. Hindi, iba. Good evening, Sister. Good evening. Hi, Marianne. Hi, good evening po. Good evening. Good evening, Brother Besad. Is Brother Besad there? Yeah, good evening, yeah. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Andito siya, Pastor. I can see your uh, photograph on the wall. Ililipat ko lang yung ano sa po niya kasi low, but... Hello. 4756819... Ah, 47... Ano nga ba? 47... 5, 6, 8, 1, 9, 9. 6, 8. Anong ID niya pa sa? Andali, double check ko. Hindi ko kapisado eh. Andali. Nandito sa ano ko, sa messenger. Low bat eh. 4, 7, 5, 6, 8, 7, 9, 9, 8. 6, 8, 7, 9, 9, 8, 1. Okay. Ilipat ko lang itong ano niya. So you're a fan of uh, Elvis, huh? <laughs> Low bat yung phone ko. There you go. I charge ko muna. Si Besad na lang. Yeah. Why? I, you know, I don't know how to take it out. Oh my God. How do you close it? You just need to uh, mute the other phone. Oh, okay. I just mute. There you go. So we have Vesad and Marianne and Len Len tonight. Yes. Maybe some other. Let me text for si si ano si Elvi. Thank you. It's uh, Ephesians uh, 4.32. Ephesians. Ephesians 4.32. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's start. Let's yeah. ask Brother Besad to... Uh, lead us in prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, dear Lord, thank you for tonight. Thank you for Pastor. Thank you for all the people in this meeting, Bible study. Please, Holy Spirit, open our eyes, open our ear to understand all the things about this Bible, about the subject of tonight. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, kamusta kayo? Good evening. How are you? Good evening. So, are you excited that uh, we're about to reopen on November 1st? November 1st? Yep. Wow. Instead of uh, going to cemetery. In the Philippines, okay. Besad, uh, we go to cemetery every November 1st. Oh. Sarado, Pastor. Close. It's close. <laughs> that's where we... Close the cemetery until November 4th. Uh, that's good. <laughs> to avoid COVID-19. That's where yeah. we do our family reunion. Sometimes we do the karaoke and uh, boodle fight in <laughs> cemetery. <laughs> 
All right. So, okay. Let's ask uh, Sister Lenlen to read our verse for tonight. Okay. Ephesians 4, verse 32. Christian Standard Bible. And be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgive you in Christ. Mm -hmm. So... We all know that uh, Paul wrote this to the people of Ephesus and uh, he's encouraging the Ephesians to be kind and compassionate. When we say be kind and compassionate, what do we mean by this? How do you define being kind and being compassionate? How far can you uh, go of, you know, of uh, being kind and being compassionate? Anybody? I think I can do that. There's a time, but not immediate. Mm -hmm. Because you have you, you were you were hurt, especially if you're the one that is hurt and mm -hmm. they're asking for forgiveness. It mm -hmm. takes time. Because if you forgive immediately, then it's not it's not uh you're just saying it, but it's not in your in your heart. You're not true to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's Speci how I feel. Specifically, uh, there's generally the 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 trait of being kind and being compassionate to other people. Uh, other people, but here Paul is telling us to be kind and compassionate to one another. It's all about forgiveness, forgiving one another, mm -hmm. just as God also forgave you in Christ. So. Uh, he's pertaining the being kind and being compassionate. He's pertaining to forgiveness. So, uh, let me ask you. Is there a person or are there people, obviously, <laughs> who caused you hurt, who caused you pain, or something that uh, you find yourself very, uh, it is, it, it's very hard for you to forgive, to forgive you know, and forget. Mm. Uh, have you experienced that, anybody? A lot. A lot. A lot. A <laughs> pretty <laughs> Mary Ann up here. <laughs> A lot. For the last uh, four to five decades, uh, you experience a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. But uh, thank God. Pastor, Pag na hurt ka, it's not mababaw. It's not that, it's not, because if things are just as a petty things, mm -hmm. you can most easily wave that, that, oh, okay, let go. But mm -hmm. if you will be really hurt if the pain that caused you is very, it's like deep. Mm -hmm. It's like, talagang, it's just wounded. You're wounded. You you were hurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that you can say petty things and serious things. The question is, is it avo avoidable? Pwede mo bang iwasan? I mean, uh, is it avoidable na uh, you'll be hurt by other people? Or is it really then, part of life? Is it, you know, is it something that you cannot avoid and uh, you cannot control other people's decision of uh, trying to hurt you? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's, it's not avoidable because you, we cannot control other people's uh, action mm -hmm. towards us and um, our, our own action and and uh, character or attitude we can control it but other people that uh, you know especially in our family we cannot mm -hmm. avoid them and mm -hmm. eventually there's something happened that they're going to hurt us and it's really avoidable it's not yeah do, do you agree that avoidable. What 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 hurts the most is when the person who hurt you is the person who, who you suffered. love you love you love and very close to you like a family member or you know a former yeah. lover or a uh, you know someone mm -hmm. who's close to you who's uh, you, you used to have a relationship with it hurts yeah. the most I know Kumbaga, it's uh, something like of course uh, we we're having a hard time of uh, forgiving. And uh, um, it causes a lot of uh, uh, 
ripple effect in our emotions no uh, it can lead us to uh, sadness mm-hmm. uh, depression you know anxiety or you know loneliness somehow so let's yeah. elaborate this let's uh, let's try to uh, let's try to elaborate this uh, encouragement of paul or teaching of Paul to the people of Ephesus in a way that uh, uh, that's a kind of uh, dig deeper and let's learn how to apply uh, how to apply it in our own uh, everyday life. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's start. So I'll ask Sister Marianne to read the first uh, slide. Yes, all of us have been hurt. It's a painful part of life. Mm -hmm. A parent neglects you or even abuses you. A friend disappoints you or betrays you. A spouse is unfaithful to you or abandons you. A stranger assaults you, assaults your loved one. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of uh, possibilities that uh, people can be hurt, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, some of this we can identify, some of that we, we, we don't identify. Uh, uh, but uh, in in this, uh, the, uh, just like what we told a while ago, told a while ago, uh, this is something that uh, unavoidable, right? Because okay. as you said, the decision of other people, you don't have any control. So mm-hmm. if they wish to plan against you, try to hurt you, or eventually hurt you. <laughs> that is something that. Uh, Uh, a decision uh, mm-hmm. on their part. So all we need to do is react on that uh, situation. So uh, let's ask uh, Brother Besad to read the next slide. It's as if, if you have been stabbed in the back, but the knife is still there. And every time you reply, reply the hurt in it's your play. replay, the hurt in your mind, you twist the knife a little more. more. Mm-hmm. The pain never leaves and the wound never heals. Oh, it is like uh, it is like being stabbed in the back. But uh, not just being stabbed, but the knife is still there. <laughs> and every time you replay the hurt in your mind, uh, it's like twisting the knife a little more. So it, it creates a lot of uh, Uh, pain. pain and the pain never leaves mm-hmm. and the wound never heals because how can the wound will heal because the knife is stuck there right mm-hmm. i'm sure y- y- yes. uh, sarah can uh, identify with this kind of pain right because uh, she she uh, she underwent like a, a surgery or something right because uh, Well, of, of, of the accident, right? So yeah. it's painful. I, I experienced once I was playing basketball in the Philippines. We don't play basketball using a rubber shoes. We just play with slippers. And uh, accidentally, I uh, step on a uh, uh, nail. Ooh. It was so painful. And... Uh, And the, the, the very first thing that will come to your mind is to remove the nail. Because once you allow the nail to be stuck there, it, you know, it might cause uh, tetanus or... Uh, and uh, and uh, it, it might cause infections or something. But here, it is being... Uh, somehow there's a similarity of feeling... The the, mm-hmm. the 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 pain of uh, being hurt by someone emotionally or probably physically or probably psychologically or mentally, you know, it's like being stabbed in the back, mm-hmm. and the knife was uh, stuck there. It's still there. Yeah. So can we identify of how uh, we put like a uh, 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 a picture? Of the pain. Okay. It's like a picture of the pain that is being felt when you are being, uh, when you when you were uh, being hurt by uh, someone. Okay, let's ask Sister Lenlen. Para para. Physical pain, 
or emotional? It's a, it's a, no. it's a, uh, what do you call this? It's a, um, uh, uh, it's a picture. I think, I, I think it's both. Mm -hmm. It's a picture of uh, whatever pain you will feel whenever someone try to, you know, tries to hurt you or, or, or hurting you in a sense of, uh, you know, uh, giving you uh, or, or doing something bad to you, you know, whatever it is, you know, betrayal or, you know, inflicting pain against you. Oh, or... If you can compare it to physical pain, mm -hmm. it's just like I experienced, uh, you know, the uh, DC, uh, DCN or we call it raspa mm -hmm. because I, I have these polyps mm -hmm. and they did not give me anesthesia. Oh, that's uh, painful. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you were shouting all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the whole procedure. In okay. order to find out that they're supposed to give me anesthesia. That's it. <laughs> that's more that's more oh, irritating. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to kick the doctor, but you were open. It. <laughs> so, okay. Can you read the next slide, Sister Len Len? Mm -hmm. What can we do? What can we do about this pain and poison that ruins our life and robs our joy? That's a good question. What can we do? What 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 people usually do? Give me an Revenge. example. <laughs> huh? Revenge. Okay, a person hurt you, a person betrayed you, a person inflicted pain against you, a person tried to hurt the lo your loved one. You know what usually what what usually you know people uh, 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 react. How 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 do people react in this kind of situation? Uh, of course, they want to get even. Okay. Or they do have to defend themselves. Yeah, get even. That's the first thing that will come into your mind. Get even. Right? Because uh, we were brought up to uh, with this principle because we uh, look at every movies, every telenovelas of Filipinos. You know, there's this uh, leading, leading actor, actress that will go through a lot of, you know, a lot of pain in life. And then eventually, in the end, there will be revenge. There will be, you know, something that I'll get even, and then, uh, and then there will be a happy ending. But that is not real life. That is not the biblical principle of how to do it. The, mm -hmm. uh, but, but we were brought up like that. We, we, we thought that you know, that is normal. That is, uh, that is the, how, you, how you do things in life. But usually, people reacted as number one. Yes, they will get even. Uh, a revenge plan would be a good plan. Or how about how about others? Uh, what can we do? What can we do about this pain and poison that ruins our life and robs our joy? Sometimes they they um they confront it. They confront the. The person, mm -hmm. they demand explanation. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you 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 get even, but it's more than the pain that they that they cost to you. Mm -hmm. the, the problem is the problem with confronting a person when you are not ready. It results to an, a bigger fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> do you do you uh, observe that it observed yes. to you know uh, a worse situation, but here's what Paul tells us to do. Now, sabi ni Paul, forgiving one another, being kind and being compassionate, forgiving mm -hmm. one another. Somehow it is like you know uh, it is. Uh, it is too good to be true, but if you try to exercise it, as you get to learn more about Jesus and uh, and uh, learn from his life, learn from his teachings, you get to understand why do you need to do it. And uh, as as soon as you try to, you know, try to do it in your own experience, apply it into your own life. 
it, it makes sense. It makes sense that, oh, I need to be kind. I need to be compassionate. And I need to forgive these people who hurt me. Next slide. Brother Besad, can you read it? Yes. God has a solution. Mm. God's solution is simple, but it's not easy. Mm. God's solution is grace. Extend grace to the person who hurt you. Forgive. Mm -hmm. So this is the answer. This is the answer to the question. What can we do? What can we do about this pain and poison that ruins our life and robs our joy? Imagine you were hurt by a person. You were betrayed or whatever. And yet, it leaves you poison in your life and it robs your joy. So the question is, what can we do to remove this from our life? So it says here, according from Brother, Brother Besad, God, has a, God has, a, has a solution. And it's yes. simple. It's simple, but it's not easy. Do you agree with that? <laughs> oh, true. You need, to, you need to pray hard. Yeah. To, I had uh, I had um, experience, Pastor. I had a lot of experience, but mm -hmm. uh, like two years, in two years uh, experience, I had a best friend that got, I got bullied, even mm -hmm. though I, I treat them like my, my sisters. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I've been bullied in the community, cyber bullied and everything. Mm -hmm. And I was I felt so hurt and betrayed so mm -hmm. badly. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I did, I just kept silent. I mm -hmm. didn't uh, I didn't answer them anything because I believe God knows my heart and people knows people knows me knows knows me and mm -hmm. the people knows them knows them. Mm -hmm. So I said. I don't need explanation to anybody because God knows my heart. And then mm -hmm. uh, when I practice the spiritual thing since last year, I cannot concentrate. I cannot mm -hmm. go into deep, deep uh, to, to connect God because I know there's something inside of my heart that uh, there's no, I cannot forgive them for what they've done. So mm -hmm. what I did, what I did, I text them. Mm. I text them, I'm the one uh, ask for forgiveness, even mm. though they hurt me so bad. Because if you confront them, of course. So whatever I, if I've done wrong and everything, please forgive me. And mm. I feel so, so light and good after that. I've done that not because of them. I, I done that because of me so mm. that I can connect to, to God. So this is true. It's this simple. God's solution is simple. But accord, according from her experience, it is not easy, right? It's not easy. Yeah, you have and to pray. You have to pray so deeply that uh, he going to help you to forgive, and and God will help. Pastor uh, so Jeff, I have uh, my experience. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, it's about the. Um, it seem when we say it's simple and it's very, but it's hard. Mm -hmm. uh, I have in my life uh, spiritual experience since I become um, follower of Jesus. Mm -hmm. My experience is saying, telling me that, that um, the most, I always was saying always in the Bible, so the most, most important is uh, once we become born again. Mm -hmm. the, the born again is one of the most important things that we should uh, have that um, even we don't have it we we have to try to get it uh, from jesus christ holy spirit father mm -hmm. this born again um, make us uh, make our heart different we're gonna have a uh, once we become born again we're gonna have a heart of jesus mm -hmm. the, the heart of jesus is uh, like a forgiveness uh, love one another all of those things once we don't have that heart is uh, is very very hard for us to forgive the, some person that um, because all of us we went through the step by back from family friends and, uh, and um, people in the streets we don't know them even and uh, my experience is that uh, once um, i got uh, the heart of Jesus. Uh, I mean, I follow him. Um, it was so 
easy for me to forgive people and it was so joyful also for me once when i see myself and the person uh, did the wrong things to me and then i really easily forgive from my heart mm. and once i forgive after that i feel so joyful it's like i went to the disneyland it's like mm. i went like i put um, I don't know. I, I'm I'm so I, joyful. I cannot ex I cannot explain mm. that joy. So um, sometimes uh, it, it, it need practice. It's, it's not going to be easily. Also, it's not going to be suddenly uh, like a second to change our heart. We need to practice, and then through the experience of our life, we need to learn. Uh, because we are uh, here to learn all the things through the bad things. Mm -hmm. So um, I was uh, like a saying, uh, once, uh, once you have a uh, uh, rough things, once you uh, have a scrap, scrap and scrap and scrap it, mm -hmm. it becomes soft and soft and softer. Mm -hmm. Through the, a lot of pain, uh, those pain scrap and scrap our heart mm -hmm. and it become more softer and softer also age, age is so important also mm -hmm. the thing is um, when I become Christian when I was uh, in, in 2004 like uh, when I was 40 years old mm -hmm. uh, I, I wish I, I met Jesus when I was 20 years old like that because I did a lot of wrong things Mm -hmm. um, but even even I met Jesus, um, it wasn't easily for me to like a born again like a second. So mm -hmm. I, I got a lot of experience. I did a lot of wrong things, and uh, but the, I'm saying the the born again is so so important, and uh, that's why we can uh, through the born again we can uh, forgive people so easily. Amen. Other, if we if we don't change, if our change doesn't get changed, I mean, uh, if we don't have the uh, Jesus heart, mm. we cannot forgive people. We saying Amen. through the, our words, but inside our heart is nothing. Amen. That's true. Sorry, I, 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 I agree with Brother Bassett because it's very hard to exemplify the love of Jesus if you don't know Jesus. <laughs> if you do, have, if you don't have a relationship with Him, that's the first. Uh, requirement enable for you to exemplify uh, his uh, love, his mercy, his forgiveness. And uh, what 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 did uh, uh, Sister Marianne? Uh, uh, what she did was she asked for forgiveness to those people, not not necessarily you know for whatever reason, but to keep the peace. And it is for herself. That she will be free from, you know, the pain of the of the knife that being stabbed on her back. Uh, that's what you call grace, eh? because uh, even though we offended Jesus, we even though we sin against God, you see how the Lord extended His hand, gave His grace, and you know, just just it's it's it is just uh, an um. It is just uh, one requirement. It's just, you know, you ask the Lord to be your personal Lord and Savior. Ask for forgiveness. Repent. Turn away from your sins. And the grace of God is there. He's extending it. You know, come to me. You know? If you are heavily laden, come to me. I, and I will give you rest. You no, know? if you if you if you have anxiety, if you have. Uh, if you have uh, problems, no, allow me to unload you. My grace is sufficient enough for you. Mm -hmm. I, I would agree with Brother Vesad. It's very hard. It will be very hard to understand forgiveness unless you experience mm -hmm. it first. Right? Yes. The, okay. the, the, the very reason we, 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 were, we are able to forgive other people because we experience it first. Do you agree with that? Amen. It's, yes. it's like... It's like there is this person who we owe like $1,000 and there is this person who owes us $100. Mm -hmm. 
and this person who owes us one hundred dollars, we are we you know, we somehow we can't forgive him. We we want we want him to 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 pay us back. We want our one hundred dollars back. Blah blah blah, and yet we forgot that there is this another person who we owed one thousand dollars, but is but he's saying, I forgive you. You don't you you owe me nothing. It's it's yours, and that is grace. No, somehow, if you don't experience owing a person one thousand dollars, and that person decided, okay, forget about mm -hmm. the one thousand dollars, it's yours. It is very impossible for you to forgive the person who owes you one hundred dollars, only if it is only one hundred dollars, only if it is only ten dollars or only one dollar. You will still go after that person because he never experienced mm -hmm. being forgiven of your loan. But since you have you experience, oh, someone who is grace, graceful enough, merciful enough, understanding enough, told me to keep my one thousand dollars and never pay him back. And then what is for me to go after a one dollar, a ten dollar, or one hundred dollars? Because I have, you know, someone uh, gave me a, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 forgave me of of uh, $1,000 that I owe that person. So extend Amen. grace to the person who hurt you. In other words, forgive. Okay, now, for those people who doesn't know Christ, this is very hard. For mm -hmm. those people who knows who, who, who has a relationship with Christ, this is hard, but not very hard. This is hard. But for those people who has this beautiful relationship with God, it will be easier. Right? Because you experience mm -hmm. it. Eh? You experience being forgiven by God first. So it, it will just, you know, translate. It will just, you know, you will just manifest how the love of God was shown to you, to that person, even that person. You know, cause pain in your life. Do you agree Amen. with that? Amen. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So let, let's define forgiveness. Okay. Uh, Sister Lenlen, kindly read this. The next slide. Forgiveness does not mean that all of your hurt and pain are gone. Mm -hmm. That may take a very long while. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness means that you have made a choice to forgive, mm -hmm. to let go of your anger. To let go of your resentment, to let go of your right to get even. Mm -hmm. You have said to God, Lord, I forgive him. Mm -hmm. I choose to forgive him. I give you my anger and my resentment, my desire to get even. I give it all to you. Mm -hmm. So it's clear. Forgiveness does not mean that all of your hurt and pain are gone. Sometimes, after you forgave the person, whenever you be reminded of the situation, of the pain that that person caused you, sometimes you kind of, you know, still feel that hurt, that pain, that, you know, kind of, uh, there's a little sting. But not that kind of pain that you used to have when a, like a knife were stuck on your back. It's not. It's a different pain anymore. It's like it's like lesser, you know. It's like a, it's it's just like a sting. The thing is, we don't want to give false hope to people that oh, once you do this, you know, everything will be okay. No, it's not. Sometimes you'll feel still feel the pain, still uh, still feel the hurt, but. You know, it says it that may take a very long while, but here's the thing forgiveness means that you have made a choice to forgive, to let go of your anger, to let go of your resentment, to let go of your right to get even. So it's all about letting go. Uh, sabi nga nila, move on, move on din. <laughs> so I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Kasi ako, I. When somebody hurt me, okay, mm -hmm. it's not just that even hurt, it's not deep, deep hurt. 
I I pray to God to enlighten me. Mm-hmm. I don't pray for forgiveness, but to mm-hmm. enlighten me, mm-hmm. to help me carry that that pain. Mm-hmm. So I pray for myself. Mm-hmm. And then um for some reason, um you I I, I always ask, what should I do? Mm-hmm. What shall I do? I always ask, give me direction. Mm-hmm. And then uh, things come out different. After, well, kasi to calm yourself. Eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi you don't, you, if you shout or you get even, talo ka eh. mm-hmm. you are, You're the loser because you're not, you, you don't know how to control yourself when you are mad. Mm-hmm. So what I do, I just pray. Mm-hmm. Talk to, talk to God mm-hmm. as, it sometimes takes me half day. Every time I feel the pain, I talk mm. to him. And then uh, for some reason, I think it is God who made the way. Mm. It's something something uh, something happened. Mm. But when you see it, because as you pray, as you continue praying, mm-hmm. you are sensitive to your surroundings, mm-hmm. to what is happening. And sometimes you see the, the you, that's what you call uh, the, the battle is with the Lord. Mm-hmm. So that's how I always look at it. That's why you can, you can read here, no? it will take a very long while. No? That's what you're experiencing. It's not a, a quick process. Oh, for no, some, no. for some, it's like a quick fix, no? For some, for some people, but for some people, it will take a while, no? For them to realize, for them to, because everything is a process, eh? No? And the Lord is so uh, persevering, no? Dealing with that process, no? He, he gives us time. He gives us, you know, allowances to. To think, to reflect, and uh, to really absorb what is really happening, and and for us to learn from that situation, I think that's what you're experiencing. It's like most of the time that like, enlighten me, give me direction. What should I do? What should something like that? You you don't talk to anybody. You just talk to God. Mm-hmm. So, and then nag clear din yung mind mo. Nag minsan. I don't know how it works, but God knows how it works. Mm-hmm. That works for you. Eh? Um, uh, we are, you know, people are, people are created, you know, different in a sense. Some others like, you know, they just, in a snap, they get it. And then they just move on. Others like, you know, it takes a while. You know, others like, uh, they, they pray for, they, they, they pray to God to, to, to understand the, the situation first before they release their forgiveness. You know, whatever whatever works, is it's all okay. But the, the, the bottom line is we all end up forgiving mm-hmm. and uh, we all end up, you know, apply, applying the mercy and the loving kindness of God. Here's the thing. There's this saying in, in this world, you forgive and forget. Do you agree with that? Or how what 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 can you say about that? You know, there's a yeah, saying. It happened in this to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, when when uh, when my husband uh, had his um, seizures and he's mm-hmm. alone, so I asked a neighbor to to look at look after him and call ambulance. Mm-hmm. What had happened is he he, he said that mm-hmm. everything is okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, that he's just living. Mm-hmm. There. But uh, when I arrive home, he's dead. Oh. <clears throat> so, mm-hmm. so obviously the the guy didn't. The guy said, "Oh, I look at him and so and so." But later on, the as the police the question, that's the first suspect is me because I'm I'm the wife, mm-hmm. but I'm at, at work. Mm-hmm. So coming home, I was that's, I when I saw it. him dead, I tried to revive him by CPR, but it's not working. Mm-hmm. So what happened is I know that the way the position, the way when he died in that position, I know that he was not that the neighbor did not look for him, did not uh that even look for. I mean, because if you see him, it's totally different. If you look, okay, you can call the police or you can mm-hmm. call the ambulance, but totally different. 
Mm-hmm. And then after a while, after, then I told my friend, he did not look, he did not check my husband. Mm-hmm. But I, I just keep quiet. But my mind is, you know, uh, is at war and myself. Mm-hmm. So, at that time, after, uh, I told that to my, to my to, to my husband's friend who is also our neighbor mm. and then he she's the one who confront him and mm. later on she he confessed that he did that with my husband he oh, just okay. let it die mm. so knowing that i did not even file any case mm. so i just said that i guess that's that's the one that i've been praying asking mm. for what to do mm. and then later on um it, it took me six years that that kind of situation happened to that guy. Mm-hmm. And I, it so happened that I'm the only one at home hearing his help. Mm-hmm. And I have to help him. And I said to myself, why am I helping the guy, this guy who killed my husband, mm-hmm. who let my husband die? Mm-hmm. So I was, I was uh, trying to avoid, to try to be deaf, hearing mm-hmm. him asking for help. And then I could not. Mm-hmm. So I told my... Uh, I up on the. I th- I went to my other neighbor. It's what mm. happened that he's there because at, it's around two o'clock in the morning. Mm. So everyone's sleeping. So I told him, I think the guy next door is asking help. Mm. So I said, How did you know? I can hear him asking help. Mm. So if you you wanna try to open the door because I cannot open the door. Mm. That's it. So what the guy, the guy feeling hero, so he is the one who did the actions, calling mm-hmm. the nine one one. What I call the, the land, the land, the uh, what do you call this? Landlord. The manager. Um. The apartment manager. Mm-hmm. But I did not show myself mm-hmm. to them. I let the neighbor, I let the neighbor did everything. Mm-hmm. And then, but before that, I was asking what happened to you. I was on the other. When it happened that he's asking for help, I said, what's happening to you? Why are you asking help? Mm. So he knows that it is me he is talking about. So when he, when everything got okay, when after the 911 came and he was rescued, because he was, he slept on the bathroom. Mm. And he could not get up. He's, I think, broken hips or something. Mm. Mm. Uh, he knows that it is me who helped him. Mm. And he said, oh, then, then forgive me. Mm. So he reminds, he reminds, uh, it, it's just like a situation where I was asking help from him to help my husband to call mm. 911 because mm. I was uh, at far. I was at work mm. and he's, uh, and he's at, at uh, he's in the house, in the apartment. Mm. So it's the same scenario happened, mm-hmm. but, but he, help. He, yeah, it's, it's just a twist of situation. It is him now who needs help, mm-hmm. and I help, and I just take make a bridge. But I did not show myself to, to mm-hmm. the to my managers or to the part to the nine one one. It's just I ask, I use somebody, mm-hmm. I ask somebody to help him, but mm-hmm. he knows. But still, you chose to help the person, right? Yeah, I chose to help not because, uh, I was mad at him, but I think it's my duty. Mm-hmm. It's my responsibility because I was it. I, it so happened I was there. Oh, that's true. It's not. It's not about him. It's about your responsibility to God. You know, when we know something, it's our responsibility to God. By the way, hi, good evening, James. Kamusta? Hi, good evening, po. <laughs> good evening. Uh, welcome, welcome. We're talking about uh, uh, forgiving one another. You know, be kind and compassionate, forgiving one another. Uh, b- bottom line is, we we are saying. At the end of the day, you, you, you can you can tell God that, Lord, I forgive the person who hurt me. Lord, That's I, what the I forgive him. Guy felt yeah. After that. It's like I give you, Lord, my anger and my resentment, my desire to get even. I will not get even anymore. You are the avenger, no? And I give it all to you. No, and allow me to move on with my life, no. And uh, I don't wanna. Sometimes imagine the person who hurt you, no, can sleep soundly at night, and you, the person who were victimized, you cannot sleep because you keep on 
It's uh, boiling in your mind. <laughs> it's unfair, right? Right. But uh, uh, Pastor, the the one that you're asking, uh, which one is better, forgive and forget, hmm. or forgive don't forget? Ha, uh, uh, let me ask you. Let me ask you guys. Do you do you believe in forgiving and then eventually forgetting, or no. just because? Uh, me and Besa, they always had to argue with that. Besa mm -hmm. always said, okay, you can forgive them, but do not forget. Because otherwise, if you forget what they've done, mm -hmm. they might, you might going to uh, give them a chance to come to your life again. And they're mm -hmm. going to hurt you again. Mm -hmm. So you can forgive, but uh, you're not supposed to forget what they've done to you. Mm -hmm. But my other point of view is uh, mm -hmm. uh, some people, they... Um, betrayed me and they cheated me they conned mm. because i was in the jewelry business we were in the jewelry business and uh, i said how can you how the people they can show to you that they uh chains mm. they uh they want to have a brand new life if nobody can give them a chance mm. so in my point of view i said I'll, there's a lot of people they want to show that they can so they we need to give a chance mm -hmm. so whatever they've done to us you have to forgive and forget and start all over again otherwise you cannot build any credit as for in america credit is very important how can you build a credit if no one can give you credit so the, we, we have to so which one is which one I'm asking which one is better. My yeah. point of view, as, as, it's like stupidity. They mm. said I'm stupid or mm. uh, forgive and but do not forget. Mm. So we have two perspectives here. Okay, number one, according from Brother Besad, if you okay, you forgive, but if you forget, you're giving an opportunity again. You know, for them to get back at you and uh, try to do harm against you. But on the, another perspective is that we need to forgive and then eventually forget to give them an opportunity to, you know, to uh, giving them the benefit of the doubt of uh, they, it, it will not happen again or uh, you, you're, it, it's a complete forgiveness that you can restart and uh, showing them that, uh, hey, uh, you you're, you're you're being given another chance or something like that all right Here, here's the thing uh there is wisdom on option number one in perspective number one uh, i would probably agree yes uh, because uh, i for myself for example i i was i i was a victim of uh uh, some uh, I was a victim of uh, someone asked me for one thousand dollars and I never got it back. So I forgave I, I, I forgave the person, but I did not forget. <laughs> yeah, because the next time he borrows again. <laughs> because because Remember, hey, yeah. you did not pay me. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to experience the same. Uh, you know, the, all the pain and hurt and everything. Now, but here's the thing. If you will look at the perspective of God, ha, ha, oh, what principle is he using? No, it says that when you ask for forgiveness from God, he will, but once he forgave you, he will no longer remember what, uh, what wrong have you done. It's yeah, normal. I think I got my truth. I got, I got uh, my truth. I'm sorry, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I got this. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> anyway, anyway, what I was saying, we have yeah, to perspective. We, yeah. uh, we continue in the, with the Sister Len Pastor. Whatever mm -hmm. I said before, mm -hmm. this uh, this debating with me and Besa at that time, mm -hmm. we were in the business, in the jewelry business. But at this mm -hmm. time, at this point mm -hmm. of time, when I'm thinking of it, those mm -hmm. people that betrayed and hurt me, I'm not going to bring back to my life again. I cannot. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to uh, give them a chance to hurt me again. So I think mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm a little bit matured in that uh, mm -hmm. in that so, area. So you're you're applying the principle of you don't, don't you, you, do, you don't forget. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah. We need to we need to we need to clarify that. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, I'm pan- going to put them down for good. Can I say something? Go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, ben Pastor, I think when Pastor Jeff saying uh, you can you forget, that means, um, yes, give a chance to them. Mm-hmm. So that means do not cut your relation um, as you can, because if you say yourself you're Christian, you can share the, all the good things to them. Maybe mm. they change also. Mm. So, um, but but we have to be always aware because yes. not yeah. a lot of people changing. Mm. Mm. There's a yeah. saying, Brother Besad, in the Bible, you need to be uh, wise as a serpent mm-hmm. and, and gentle as a dove. Yeah. So yeah. it's a it's a two different uh, spectrum, no? Because you are being told to be wise as a serpent, but gentle as a dove. Forgiving, being gentle, but being wise also, not allowing that person to do to hurt you again. To, to hurt you again. But, yeah. but, but it is applying, being gentle as a dove, it is applying the principle of God that, hey, I'm forgiving you, I'm giving you a second chance, but I am aware I am more like uh, ready. I'm more like, you know, uh, aware of what is happening and I will not allow you to give you an opportunity to hurt me again. So the, the, it's a, it's, it's like, it's like, an, it's like applying in, mm-hmm. applying it in, uh, uh, what do you call this, in, in many situations. Eh? But the, the rule is, yeah, it, uh, in some point, you need to forgive, but you don't have to forget for you to be protected. But yes. somehow, somehow, the main principle of God, you need to forgive and you need to forget <laughs> in a sense that uh, you are giving the person an opportunity you know, to... Because there are really people who are genuine, who are genuinely wish to... to, to to be uh, okay with you again, but there are other people who uses that situation yeah, enable for them to to mm. hurt you again. So but, be uh, careful, Pastor Jeff. Mm. Yeah, the, when you talk about the second chance, mm. I believe on that. The second chance uh, to me, I always um, second chance. Give them second chance to have relationship with us. To mm. go, maybe go Bible study or all the good things, not for business. Uh, oh, that's yeah, true. true. There is no limit. second chance for business. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> Do not lend them money anymore. Yeah. <laughs> because As, uh, <laughs> it's hard to forget when it comes to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, yeah. Pastor, I uh, I noticed that uh, whenever Jesus uh, heals. Mm. Heal, heal the people that they are sick and even Magdalena when uh, he's, he says that okay your sins are, are forgiven but mm. go on but do not sin again yes oh. more, more. Yeah. That's, that's he a, always that's, say that in, that's in, a very in, important in, eh. very important yeah. yung, yung, last, yung, yung last sentence yes. sin yes. no more no more right? sin no more yeah. Yeah. so that. Jesus is completely forgiving you clean slate but sin no more. Even though no more. even sa, sa blind person, yes. you know, you're, you're totally healed and sin no more. Actually, so, it's more of a warning, right? It's more of yes. a warning. So Jesus is applying the principle of being gentle as a dove, but he is also wise He's as a so serpent. He won't yeah. allow you. No, he won't allow you to you know to uh, to abuse him. So same thing with us. No, uh, the, Paul said. Uh, in his writings, uh, it's a, he said, uh, whatever is true, whatever is beautiful, whatever is uh, you know right, whatever is righteous, think of these things. So it is like, even though a person hurt you, what would Jesus do is give that person a clean slate, total forgiveness, you no, know, and think of. Uh, nothing but goodness about that person so that person can genuinely feel the forgiveness of God through you but but be also wise as a serpent and do not allow or give that person a foothold to hurt you again right so that's where that's where brother Bessad is coming from okay I I, I 
I forgive you. Uh, you're also a Christian. I love you. Okay, join us in our Bible study. But you cannot join us in our business meeting. <laughs> right? <Yeah>. Because, <laughs> because I will not lend you money anymore. Because I will not make business uh, i will not do business with you again anymore <laughs> because you know you 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 blew it and um and uh, I, i'll give you a second chance to enter into a relationship with me and uh, you know usher you to god and for total forgiveness that's cool no problem mm -hmm. but i cannot allow i'm sorry to to uh to to deal with you in terms of especially in terms of money right Mm -hmm. So are, are, we, are we clear about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So so there's a uh, it, it's not like black and white. No. Okay. You, you forgive and don't forget. You forgive and forget. It's not. It's, it depends upon the situation. It depends yes. upon what we're talking about. It depends upon uh, how do we apply it. And uh, we always look at how uh, what did Jesus. Uh, what 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 did Jesus do in that kind of situation? It says here, take the knife out, no, let the pain go, no, let the wound heal. So we said that those pain that we receive from these people who hurt us, it's like a knife stuck in our back. No, and then it's like the, 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 every time we 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 thought of it, it's like the knife. We we are moving the knife left and right. It creates more pain. No, but here, Paul is saying no. It's it, it is like he's saying, take Feel the knife the out. <laughs> yeah, take the knife out. No, let the pain go. Let the wound heal because the wound will not be healed, and un, 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 unless the knife was taken out, it it makes sense, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. how how do you apply this into your into your into your situation? What do we mean by this? It it means that move on, forgive the person, move on. Even the person accepts or or the, uh, did not accept your forgiveness, move on. No, because you have your own life to live. Do you agree with that? Because yeah. we, cannot, we cannot control what other people can think, or what do they think? But uh, we can. What we can control is our own decision, our emotion, our decision to move on, let the pain go, and let the wound heal. Right, Pastor Jeff. Go ahead. Um, um, yes, we have to let them uh, let it move on, mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, has to be uh, really move on because some people move on one for some people come hurt then they move on mm -hmm. and then because life is like this the people keep coming and hurt you and hurt you mm -hmm. and then um, after that the second person come to hurt you, mm -hmm. you you cannot move on because mm -hmm. of, oh my god i forgive that person he and then another person keep and come to my life and did it again mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. is gonna be get hard and harder for them to move on to forgive and forget mm -hmm. that's what i want to say to um, my experience in my life um, mm -hmm. is a uh, first of all um, um we need to have a heart of jesus Mm -hmm. Amen. And the eyes of and eyes of God. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the the forgiveness and forgiveness of, of the people is temporary. Mm -hmm. When they say, uh, "I forgive you," they squeeze their teeth when mm -hmm. they say that. Mm -hmm. You know, like I forgive you like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or when they say, "I love you." Because if the, the because of the flesh is still temporary, mm -hmm. is I love you can be die tomorrow for mm -hmm. them because it's physically. Mm -hmm. But because I say we need the heart of Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, this this is the things. Uh, you, um, if we know the mass, the Jesus Christ Masih, mm -hmm. uh, he he cried once um, when they crucified him. Mm -hmm. He cried for who? Mm -hmm. He 
he cried for the people who are nailing his hand and his feet mm -hmm. to the wood. Painful. Mm -hmm. But he cried for them. Mm -hmm. And then he said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they do. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm talking about we gonna have a heart of Jesus like that. To, mm -hmm. for, to, to be able to forgive people, to forget um, all the things, mm -hmm. bad things. And um, if we have eyes of God, in my experience, if we have a heart of Jesus, mm -hmm. it's so easily to forgive people. Mm -hmm. We can invite people all the time, even bad people to our life, but just mm -hmm. through the conversation of um, Jesus Christ. Mm, yes. So sometimes uh, we say, oh, these people hurt me. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we say, okay, I'm Christian. Let's say I'm going to go to her house. And then we knock the door and say, I forgive you. Okay, we say like that. Mm -hmm. And then we say we are Christian. But the other hand, I want to say, who am I? Mm -hmm. I hurt a lot of people also. Yes, that's true. Mm, I agree. In God's eyes, we are all equal. Mm -hmm. It's not about I forgive that person or, or um, this. We are all equal in God's eyes. Mm -hmm. So if if when I feel, when I not feel, when I see, this is mm -hmm. fact. This is reality. In God's eyes, we are all equal. No matter how much we made sin, we all sin. He loves us. He forgives us. Mm -hmm. That's why he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to show us who is God. Mm -hmm. If we don't understand, if we don't know, who, if we don't open our eyes, open our ear, who is Jesus, we never, we always keep and keep random, 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 always the same things. I forgive you. I forgive you. And then the, we, we keep saying a lot of complaint to other people. Mm. But once we have a heart of Jesus and eyes of God, the important is we have to have eyes of God. Mm. Eyes of God see us, all of us, no matter who we are, less or more. We mm. are all the same. He love all of us. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's why I see I, uh, I choose to see a, see a God of uh, eyes of God and heart of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm, I'm so, I'm so happy in my life and joyful. Even they come and cheat me. Yes, I cut my contact for business, mm -hmm. but I never contact for relationship. I Amen. keep sending them good message to them. I love you. Amen. No, don't worry. You did, to, you did that to me. I love you. Amen. That's the way we have to be the forgiveness of um, people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That, that's the thing. It's we can we, we can say that uh, it is only through the love of Jesus, understanding the love of Jesus, we will be able to forgive. We will be able to set a prisoner free because if you Amen. don't forgive you are allowing yourself to be a prisoner imagine you're the one who were victimized imagine you were the one who were hurt and yet you turn out to be a prisoner a prisoner of who not of your not of your uh, abuser but a prisoner of bitterness a, a prisoner of unforgiveness a prisoner of uh, uh, you know these are all more painful actually these are more painful experience experiences compared to the first pain that you receive from your abuser you need to set yourself free from a prison of pain and poison now how, how can you do that imagine we always say that oh it's hard to forgive no and this person i already forgave and then he, he as Britney Spears says, oops, he did it again. But the thing is, look at Jesus. Every day, people are offending him. Every day, he forgives people. 
And every day, people mm-hmm. goes back to the way they used to and then offend Jesus again. But what does mm-hmm. he... You know, look at his endless loving mercy and grace. It's always there. How many times did we say, Lord, forgive me, I did this, I did this. I did this, I did that. One, two, three, four, five. And then the Lord will forgive you. The Lord will deliver you. And then you will feel the peace. You will feel, you feel, you will feel the joy. And then you will live a good life. And then eventually you'll go back to what you did. And then you will ask the Lord again for forgiveness. Lord, forgive me. And then the Lord will forgive you. And then he will deliver you. And so on and so forth. It's like a cycle. So we always experience this cycle. And yet, the Lord keeps on forgiving you. Why? Because He loves you. It's the same thing. That's, that's the same calling that He's asking us. To forgive, forgive, forgive. And uh, mm-hmm. uh, how many so, times will, uh, you will be forgiven? The Bible says seven times. Seven times. Seven. Seven. Seven, 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 seven is... Thousand seven times. is is uh, it mean it symbolizes infinity. So it 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 means that it it doesn't necessarily means like forty nine or four hundred ninety or whatever. It is it means that endless, right? Mm-hmm. As long as the person is asking for endless. forgiveness, endless. So what does it mean? No. It's a different story if a person is not asking for forgiveness. But mm-hmm. the person is asking for forgiveness. That's why it's it's a daily it's a daily offering. It's a daily offer. No, that you you, you can accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior anytime. No, mm-hmm. anytime. There will be a reset button. So it's a it's a beautiful deal. It's uh too good to be true, but somehow it is true. And uh, we, we, we need to, um, to make people understand that Jesus is real. We experience forgiveness. And we can only show them what do we mean by forgiveness that we receive from God if we can also forgive them. Right? So yes, it's, I agree with Besad. We need to manifest the forgiveness of Jesus. Go ahead, sister. I think the us our forgiveness so we can move on Mm -hmm. but christ's forgiveness is different forgiveness because he loves us Mm -hmm. so that's the way because we cannot forgive just like jesus because what happened to jesus is we cannot we cannot bear it i mean you expect the experience he had is too too it's very deep Mm -hmm. but for us what what's happening to us is we forgive to move on. Mm. We forgive to be with the light. Mm. Not because we forgive just like Jesus forgive. Because Jesus forgives totally. They, he, he, he forget everything. Here's the thing. It's, it's, it's that just like what I told earlier. It's a process. No? It's a process, a process for us to understand how can we forgive like Jesus. The goal is the goal is to forgive like Jesus. Okay, yeah. that's a, that's the yeah. goal. Okay, somehow we are in a process. No, probably in stage one we are forgiving. You know, just to make ourselves good, uh, feel good. Okay, it's okay. It's a process, but the end goal, the end goal, is that we must manifest how Jesus forgave all the sinners. No, Kumbaga, Amen. Same thing. Same thing with. Uh, uh, with his experience, yes, it is a deep, deeper experience. It is somehow, you know, it takes a lot of uh, love, grace, forgiveness, and everything, enabled for us to reach that kind of uh, level. But that is the end goal. Now, for now, what we are experiencing, it's all valid because we are in the process. And Jesus is allowing really? us to understand every day, okay, this is level one. Because I used to experience that. No, level one, okay, I will only forgive you for the sake of forgiveness. Level two, I will forgive you for me to feel the joy of forgiving and you know, I can move on. And then eventually, I realize, and as I read the Bible, I attend Bible studies, I attend services, I, I, you know, I keep on learning and learning more about God. I, get, I got deeper into a relationship with Him. 
I realize that forgiving is all about love. Just like what Jesus Amen. did to me. He never looked at me as Jeff, as the sinner. He hates my sin, but me as a sinner, Jeff, he loves. So, so um, that's the same principle. I now, I am now trying to use. I, am I perfect? No. Am I? Am I? Am I uh, always like Jesus? No. But the thing is, I am in the process of getting to know, and somehow going through that end goal of forgiving like Jesus forgave. Okay, so uh, uh, James, kindly read the next slide as we end. Okay. Forgiveness is a healing choice, a choice made by Christ's strength in us, mm -hmm. a choice made because of Christ's grace to us. Mm -hmm. See, so that's uh, that somehow answers the, the uh, and, and clarify us that the end goal is it's because of Christ's grace. That's why I am forgiving this person no, it's not about me. It's more about my responsibility to Christ to be like Him. Because once in my life, or many times in my life, I was also forgiven, right? So it's a, it's a, it's a, somehow, if you will explain this to the world, the world who always wants to avenge. The world who always wants to get even. The world who always wants justice to be done as soon as possible. Somehow it will not make sense. But according from Brother mm -hmm. Besad, unless unless you have a relationship with Jesus, it will be so, easier Pastor, for you to understand. Yes, go ahead. So forgiveness is not... Um, it's not to move on, to survive, but it's a responsibility to God. It, uh, let me rephrase that. Forgiveness, I agree with you. It is a responsibility to God. But the manifestation is moving on. Yeah. If you, if, if, say, if your first goal is to move on, uh, that would not also please God. Our first goal yeah. must be Lord, I'm responsible for this. I'm doing this because you are my God. I experienced this from you. I learned this from you. I will exemplify forgiveness mm -hmm. because I love you. We have this beautiful relationship. That's the goal. And then eventually, the manifestation, you'll, 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 you'll probably even notice that you are moving on because the Lord will mm -hmm. heal you. You are not capable of moving on by yourself. You are capable of moving on because God healed you, right? Mm. And you will receive that he healing power if you uh, were able to understand how he was able to forgive you and asking you now to be kind and compassionate and forgive the other person, just like what Paul uh, is uh, trying to explain to us tonight, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. Pastor, yung nangyari doon sa tinulungan ko nung mm -hmm. pumutay sa asawa ko, mm -hmm. I forgive him. Tap, yun ba yun? Uh, Tap, um, because it's my responsibility to... Una, let's, let's clarify. He didn't kill your husband, but he was irresponsible. No, mm -hmm. when he when you ask for a favor, he was irresponsible not to you know to look at the person, and that is something that he needs to deal with God. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what you did is you helped him even though you never received any help from him from him before okay. what you did is you and are yeah you are reacting not because you want to you know uh, you are reacting to your responsibility to god you are just being a christian no mm -hmm. you are you are you are uh, telling god that lord i'm doing this because i love you now here's the thing Forgiveness to that person, it will probably take time, no? But patay na ba siya? Yeah, namatay rin siya after after a month. Mm. Anyway, here's the thing: there are people who are still living, and there are people who died already. But forgiveness is a responsibility to God. You need to forgive the person even the person is alive even the person accept or did not accept your forgiveness even the person is dead because you need to settle your self to god 
you know, in, in, because the Lord wants to see if you are exemplifying what are the learnings He told you. Mm-hmm. No, kumbaga, he, he, he needs to He needs to verify na, oh, did you learn something from what I exemplified to you, from the love that I showed you? Because that is somehow my requirement to, to for you to show the things that I taught you. No, just like with our kids, no, we wish for them to exemplify the good values that we are teaching them, something like that. So that is something that uh, will bring joy to the heart of God when He sees that I, Jeff, J- uh, uh, James, or Lenlen, or Besad, or Marian is doing his or her best to please God by exemplifying the love, the grace, the mercy, the forgiveness of God. So it's a somehow settling it more to God, not necessarily settling it to the person who already died. Because he already died. But it is more of settling it to God. Something like that. Actually, um, he, siya yung dapat mag-apologize. Mag, ano, diba? Hmm. Pero hindi yung ginawa because of pride. Hmm. Kasi ayaw kami yun eh. Pero uh, sa akin, nag-move on ako. Hmm. I did not wait for it. Nag-move on ako because I feel that I will not I will not uh, yung yung magmumukmuk sa ganun klaseng ano. Hmm. So, uh, nag-move on lang ako noon. A while ago, uh, si Sir Mary Ann said that you cannot uh, forget, uh, forget. I mean, you cannot uh, control what other people will Uh, uh-huh. uh, they, you cannot control their reaction. They can uh-huh. accept your apology. They can they can ask for forgiveness or they can maintain with their pride. That's their reaction. Actually, we we, we must not uh, uh, focus ourselves on the reaction of people because always we will be frustrated and disappointed. Yeah, true. The the thing uh-huh. is, we need to focus ourselves to God. Um, Even um, though, because I, in, in my life, there's a lot of times that I ask for forgiveness and I get dead ma. <laughs> uh-huh, so, true. Will, will, will I will I focus and will will I make will, will I will I allow them to affect me, and uh, you know to bring bitterness in my life? No, I'll just move on. And as long as I settle it to God, I'm done. Yeah. Uh, the, here's the thing: the more important thing is to settle it to God. Okay, whether the person accepted it, whether the person asks, asks for forgiveness, whether the person uh, w- wishes to use his pride or whatever, it's his or her prerogative. And you don't have any control with that. But you, what you have control with is... Is ourselves. Yes, your decision yes. to settle with God that, Lord, I forgive that person, whether he likes it or not, whether he accepts it or not, whether he asks for forgiveness to me or not, whether he wants to be frightful or not, but I forgive that person because you are a forgiving God. I I receive forgiveness from you. I just want to exemplify your loving grace, mercy to me. Uh, loving Their loving mercy and your loving grace. I wanted to extend, exemplify to others. And hopefully someday, you know, that person will realize that, hey, this person is different. I want to know his or her God because imagine I did not ask for forgiveness from this person that, that I hurt, but still, you no, know, he 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 is extending his hands to me. So that 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 is one thing that God can only do, right? I... Amen. Yeah, amen. Mm. Amen, amen. I, I think uh, in a uh, sister Len Len uh, case, um, it's hard. It's hard for you to to forgive and forget about your husband, uh, whatever they done to you in your life, because you feel the pain until now. But um, in my own experience, whatever we learn tonight and whatever we're going to learn in the future, mm. whatever God is giving us. To open our eyes and whatever um, we, it's going on in our lives. The more we know God, the more mm. we have accountability in our own action. Mm. If we, um, if you feel there's something uh, heaviness in your heart, you mm. have to give it to Him. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You have to search our heart, our soul, and spirit. Mm-hmm. And you, if you feel that you're going to be lightened for the action that you're going to give all the forgiveness and forget whatever it is, that's mm-hmm. I think that's God wants for us, for all mm-hmm. of us, because uh, He forgave us. Who? Sino tayo para hindi mag-forgive? Diba? Amen, amen. Tama yun, tama yun. Uh, sige, okay. let's pray. It's a beautiful discussion. <laughs> And uh, yes. I hope we learn something about forgiveness. So the challenge is for us to apply it in our everyday lives. Okay? Heavenly okay. Father, we thank you for this beautiful evening. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to learn about your very uh, b- very beautiful characteristic, Lord God, and that is being forgiving, being merciful. Allow us to be also uh, to exemplify your love, your mercy, your grace to other people. Allow us to forgive, to re- uh, remove the bitterness in our hearts, Lord God, and uh, allow us to uh, to be more wise in terms of dealing with the uh, uh, with the same situation in the future. Thank you, yes. Lord God, for forgiving us. Thank you for uh, allowing us to be part of your family. We accept you as our personal Lord and Savior. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So, thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, everyone. Some, anno- some announcement. Yes, go ahead. Uh, can I say last words? Sure, sure. No problem. I mean, I mean Marian said I talk too much. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Very easy. I'll make it short. Okay. Uh, in my life, in my experience, mm-hmm. um, anytime I had a problem since I become Christian, mm-hmm. anytime I had a problem in my life uh, and I never ever can recognize what's going on, what can I do, what can I do, mm-hmm. I put... Um, uh, I, I I put my shoes in Jesus. I, I put my feet on their shoes. I put my feet in Jesus' shoes. Mm. Or maybe opposite. Sorry, my English is not good. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, yeah like a, uh, I pretend if Jesus was in my place, Situation. what mm. he do? Yes. That time. And then because I know Jesus, I right away, I recognize why to do what to do. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes it uh, hurt, but that's the way uh, is um, protect me all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, it's so different between if you say, um, if you say, do you know Jesus? And you mm-hmm. say, I know about Jesus, or you say, I know Jesus. Mm-hmm. That's a big difference between I know about Jesus or I know Jesus. Mm-hmm. Once we have faith through the Jesus, we know him very well. Relationship. Mm-hmm. We put our, I mean, our situation in the bad things. We, we, re, we just pretend if Jesus was in my life mm-hmm. right now, what he do. And then if we know, once we know him, mm-hmm. we know what he do. So we follow that problem, our Amen. situation. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, thank that, you, Pastor. Thank yeah. you, Besad. That's uh, uh, beautifully said. Uh, I I agree with you that it is always it is always uh, the the leading of Jesus we need to follow. Do not forget on Sunday we will meet via Zoom. Pastor Manny will preach, and uh, uh, it's nine o'clock to ten o'clock. Zoom. We will send the link. We will use the link of Pastor Manny this coming Sunday. Okay, the following Amen. Sunday, November 1, be excited. We will have our reopening. It will be on Wiley, uh, it will be at Wiley Chapel. It will be on November 1, Sunday, 9 a.m. It will be our reopening at the same time installation service. So Pastor Greg, our district superintendent, will be there to preach and officiate the, the transfer of our leadership. Okay, and uh, what else? And uh, yeah, that's it. So we'll, we are we we are we are having our we are doing our we're creating a new website lafilness.org. So soon mm-hmm. we will uh, launch it, and uh, we can follow us uh, on our social media. 
and uh, be excited and uh, always uh, look forward sa ating uh, meeting in person. And please invite invite other people so that we can share. Of course, can you please uh, uh, bring back the Alain, yung uh, sa church? Yeah, Ito. I want to. Yeah, and right. the other one, so I can uh, invite people. Yeah, sure, I want to sure. post in my Facebook. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. I snapshot. Okay, All thank right, you. Yeah. So, yun. Um, Thank you so much for tonight. Maraming salamat. God bless you guys. So, see you on Sunday, 9 o'clock. Every, every Friday ba ang ano pa? Once a week lang? Ang, uh, ang, ang ano po natin, every Wednesday, meron po tayong live uh, sa YouTube at sa Facebook. Pero ano yun eh, uh, walk, walk through the Bible. So, mm-hmm. kakatapos lang natin sa, gen, uh, sa, sa Judges and Ruth. Uh, next Wednesday, it would be First Samuel, Book of First Samuel. I will summarize it and just, uh, you can watch it every every Wednesday. So every Wednesday, you just watch it, you know, and learn from it. But every, every Friday, Friday, there's an, in, yeah, we can, we have an interaction every Friday. It's a life group system. So like this, we can talk about God and, you know, try to, uh, to uh, dig deeper on his word. And every Sunday, of course, uh, we will be having our in-person meeting starting November 1. And that would be exciting because it has been seven months that uh, we never see each other. So, yes. be excited. Okay? God bless okay. you, James, Besad, Marianne. Thank you so much. Salamat po. Thank you po. Good night, Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.